Hello, everyone. Let me start our presentation. Um, we will talk about our engineering session class. Uh, first of all, uh, I will I would like to tell you what we did in our six weeks in UQ. In first week, we had lecture and love tour. In second week in, and third week, we had workshop. And also, we had site visit in third week. And in fourth to sixth week, we had presentation training classes. Let's go into the details. Uh, in first week, we had lecture and lab tour. Look at this, this picture. Uh, that picture was taken during the material engineering lab tour. Uh, we, we were explained how to make a light and study them. There are many machines to make a light and experimental devices in UQ. We were also explained about uh, shape memory ally with experiment in front of us. In hypersonic lab tour, uh, we watched an experiment during that lab tour. In that experiment, they can collect data, uh, collect samples data in a station similar to hypersonic flight. Uh, we also introduced, uh, we were also introduced an idea of new engine. It compresses air by its shape, so it doesn't need compressor. I clearly remember what I felt at the time. I was really excited by that idea. Uh, next, then I will give you more further information. First week, we also we also experienced the workshop of making robots. This is, uh, this is my team of uh, making robots. We divided into four groups from 18 people. We made this robot by the part with the help of uh, professors and uh, group members. This, expl this explanation was all English, so we cooperated with each other and finally made this robot feeling so fun and difficult. And we also had the experience the virtual reality in UQ. This is virtual reality room. And uh, we experienced the virtual reality game. It was so real and fantastic. By making use of this great skill, it will be easier to understand the places that are, that are Shield from view. I will explain at second week, from second week to sixth week. In second and third week, we had a workshop. It was prepared by EWB. Uh, EWB means Engineers Without Borders. It helps students to develop a deeper understanding of the technology play in creating positive changes in societies. In fact, we learned the importance of technology in our lives through this workshop. Okay, let me explain about the details of the workshop. In second week, this picture, look at this picture. In second week, we made water filters that made water clean. Maybe you think that making water filter is too easy, as I thought so. However, the fact was quite different. First, we were grouped into four countries, including both developed and developing countries. Of course, these four countries have different economic situations, so considering about these countries' situations, we had to make them by using money as least as possible. This left picture, yeah, this left pic, left picture shows the testing of the water filters. In third week, we made artificial legs, thinking about their stability, physical burden, and functionality. 
The right picture, the right picture shows the process of making them. We were glipped into five glips, but suddenly only two glips succeeded making legs. And the task was so difficult. In third week, we visited Cicero. Cicero. Cicero stands for Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization. It is one of the most academic research organizations in the world. We were glad to see. We were glad to visit such an academic building. The left picture shows the robot with six legs. Surprisingly, it has many cameras, and it can scan the picture around it and recognize the shape of the room that it exists in. As you know from this picture, all of us were absorbed in this robot. Okay, look at the right picture above. Um, it shows the experience of VR, virtual reality again. VR enables you to explain digital world as if it was a real world, you know? In this picture, we experience the mine under the ground. Next, the light picture below shows the machines that make hydrogen. We were so lucky that we could see such great machines. In first to six weeks, we had presentation training classes. To be honest, this, before this lesson started, I had thought that the training was not necessary. However, it was not a long time before I noticed my mistake. We learned basic structure, expressions, and design of a presentation that was helpful for our presentation. We had prepared presentation in those three weeks and prepared them in the end of our program. As you saw, one of, the, one of them in the beginning of today's session. I hope this presentation training will have a good effect on today's presentation as well. Thank you. Uh, last <coughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm a la uh, last presenter, Mikio. Uh, finally, uh, we'd like to tell about uh, the learning from engineering lectures, uh, site visit, lab tour, and workshop. Uh, the, once we arrived at Brisbane, uh, we took many uh, difficult but interesting uh, lectures and visited um, every laboratory. <coughs> Almost all of uh, us found that uh, understanding research in English was uh, harder than in, uh, in Japanese, and uh, we couldn't keep uh, keep up with uh, the speed of lecture. Uh, we couldn't uh, uh, understand the terms in English. And this shock therapy is, uh, continues one week for one week. Uh, However, we could experience just uh, a lot of uh, different uh, way of speaking. That was a gesture, accent, and uh, eye direction uh, during presentation. Uh, now I'll introduce uh, what I learned from the lectures. From my personal perspective, I learned that Australian research students had uh, the same dilemma as Japanese. To tell the reason, uh, I'll, take up, uh, I'll take up a topic about uh, the solar energy in Australia. Thanks to mass production of uh, the solar panel, uh, the uh, wide range of installation has been uh, promoted, uh, but mass production uh, results from uh, the use of large amount of uh, fossil fuel, fuels. Uh, so set of clean energy system uh, 
causes uh, global warming, I had the I had that uh, specific measures uh, has not been founded yet. Uh, next. Uh, <coughs> Sorry. Uh, then uh, we are coming to the end of today's presentation. Uh, in, in this training, uh, what impressed uh, us was uh, the workshop. Uh, through workshop, we realized that we liked training to make something useful and uh, solve some problems uh, better than taking lectures. We have to overcome various difficulties by using our wisdom and knowledge as engineers. We study for making human lives be, uh, better. We should uh, cooperate with each other and uh, develop together. Thank you for listening. The most important thing in presentation is structure of presentation. Um, um, to, to make good presentation, we, we have to we, um, we have to make uh, We have to keep our mind to uh, make good structure. And to make good structure, we have to connect uh, the slides or topics. So, yeah, to sum up, yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 